Hi guys, back to Mr. B's sax lesson number two. We have a lot to go over, so let's go here. Let's review what we've done. I'm going to set up my computer a little bit easier. Here we go. Okay, so let's review. Saxophone. We want this all to be very natural, very comfortable. Comfortable, comfortable. Here we go. Okay. Saxophone, sax strap. Hook them right up. Okay. Fingers. Easy, easy, easy does it. Finger position. Our reed. Our reed's in good position. Okay. Warming up. We're going to warm up. Remember what I did last lesson? I did this. Now there's a major mistake here that I'm going to see if I'm going to talk about a little bit later and see if you picked up on. So we're going to warm up on the one, the three, and the five. We're going to do it together. Okay. I'll do it. I'll stop. And then I'll do it again. Well, I'll continue. But you can stop. I want you to stop any time in this video to go ahead and kind of understand it, take notes, practice. Here we go. I'm going to use what's called a metronome. Talk about that in a minute. Let's warm up together. G. Good. Let's do a G scale. What do you think about that? G scale. Two beats each. Two. Ready? Go. Good job. There we go. So now we were supposed to do the F scale. I was on our thing. Now, haha, <laughs> my mistake. When I write it out, I write it like this and I go from left to right. So when I put it up here, it's backwards, isn't it? So I try to write it backwards. So there you go. So we are now going to do the F scale. The F scale has a different note. It's called a B flat. Now that little sign right there is not a flat, it's not a B sign, it's a flat sign. It looks like a B. Okay? So that's on the B line and it's a flat sign. We'll talk about the key signatures in a minute. So as you notice, we had the arrows last week. Those are on that F and I wanted you to park the arrows there to make sure that you played those Fs F sharp. So we're altering the note F to make it a sharp, F sharp. This now, we have B flats. We are going to alter the B. See, I have a little arrow there. We'll make the B's B flat. Easy way how to play that note on the saxophone. We have the A. We know how to play A. One and two. Over here, you have your right hand. This little bottom side key right there. If we play A with that and we get a B flat. So watch. Now the tricky part here, we got to go from B flat to C, middle finger. So we have a lot of movement going on. A lot of movement. So let's watch it. F scale, half notes with the metronome. So at any time, again, stop. So you have going up A, two fingers, side key, B flat, C, then you continue D, E, F, going down, F, E, D, C middle, here's tricky, A with the side key, B flat, release the side key, A. Okay, so that's tricky part, so you're going to need to work on that a little bit. So let's talk a little bit. Uh, about what we just did with our scale. So we did what we're going to call a one octave scale that goes F to F, low F to high F. It's one octave. If I go from F to F to F, there would be two octaves. Okay? 
G to G, G to G to G, two octaves, C to C. So your next scale that I want you to do, oh, let's, let's touch base with this. Same thing with the F scale, one, three, five, and all your scales, one, three, five. You got that? One, three, five. And that's what you're going to warm up off. Here it is, right there, your F scale. One, three, and five. Circle them if you have to. You see what I did here? I circled them. Okay, so our next scale that we're going to do is a C scale. Now, I, it's a little, a little different here. Some of you might have problems getting up the low C. It's a honky note. Honk, honk, honk. It's a honky note. Some of you might not be able to get the high C. It's a squealy note. So I think, let me see what I write down first. I wrote down the low one first. So we're going to do a low C scale. And how we play that note is, like our D, no thumb. With the low pinky, right pinky. You see, you got the two. The low one. That's a low C. You got to get honky, okay? So let's play C scale together. Two beats each. Ooh, where's my metronome? Talk about that in a minute. Two, ready? Yeah. that okay that's a C now the high octave we start in the middle C and we know once we get up here and then we go high like we did on our G scale D we just keep on going up so once we hit to our G three finger G we just keep going up a but a thumb is on a B C okay so now let's do that scale three four <laughs> of that C scale. For you that want to get going a little bit further, you can do it two octaves. I'm going to play, I'm going to play a quarter notes because I have a lot to go over here right now. So I'm going to play it kind of quicker for you. Okay, here's two octaves. <laughs> Again, stop if you want to go ahead and play. Don't forget about the one, three, five. So that's key. That's the C scale. Next one is a woo -hoo, a D scale. So I'm going to go real quick, and I'm not going to play that one. You are going to figure that out. You can look here. So we're going to talk key signatures real quick. Your scale, like we talked about, says go, goes do re mi fa so la ti do. Correct. So. G scale, one sharp, it's an F sharp. All your Fs forever and ever and ever and ever in that piece of music is going to be an F sharp unless somebody says different. Okay? F scale is a B flat. See that flat side's on the B line. All the Bs are going to be B flat unless they'll tell you in the music that it's going to alter it a little bit. So all the Bs are flat. Boy, here's a funny one. See, I don't see anything. So the key of C has no sharps. No flats, no sharps, no flats. And then the key of D has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So when you get home, I want you to write that out. And then of course, write your one, three, five out. Okay, two sharps, F sharp, C sharp, you write it out. Got it, let me look at my notes here. All right, tonguing. Now if you notice, I did most of my scales slurred. I like to start off slurred. I think everybody should learn slurred because I just want you to use your air. 
air, air. We want to learn air, and I want to get the tongue in the way. Once you get a good sound with your air, then you can start adding the tongue. So a good sound with the air. I'm using air. Now I can start tonguing. Now there's really three kind of tonguings I like to talk about. One's normal tonguing. And I like to say it as ta. T-A-H. Ta, ta, ta. T-A-H. Ta, ta, ta. Now there's a shorter tongue, tonguing called staccato. Staccato, which would be shorter. And I like to go T-A-T. Ta, ta. That's staccato. Now legato. Oh, let's get this. I think I even wrote it down. Legato. Legato. You might not have seen this one. Legato is smooth. And you have lines over your notes. So the way I really like thinking about that, it's really smooth. Da. So it's a different kind of tonguing. First one, ta ta ta, then ta ta ta, then da da da. Hopefully you heard the difference between all those three. Boy, we are just out of time. We are having so much fun. Okay, real quickly, your sax, your reed, your position of your reed, your warm-ups, your one, three, fives, your key signatures, five-finger exercise. I want you to take the first five notes of each scale and play them as an exercise. <laughs> That's a quick and easy one. So again, if you have them written out, then you can kind of figure out what the first five notes of the scale is. You got that? Okay, let's come up here, because I think it's Wednesday. So Wednesday means Crazy Hat Wednesday. All right. So Crazy Hat Wednesday, and I will see you guys next time. All right, what do we got here? All right, here we go. Mr. B's Crazy Hat Wednesday. We'll see you next time, guys.